I think we can all agree that stock motorcycle license plate holder fender kits kind of look like... I get it, in a lot of countries, the license plate has to be the furthest back part of the bike, but it just looks wrong. And I have kept my stock one on for way too long. It is time. Now, a lot of people, including all the big YouTubers, will use the NRC tail tidy kit. To my eyes, it doesn't quite look right on a Panigale. This is a bike that's all curves and flowing lines. And that NRC kit is all hard edges and folds. It looks like it would be more fitting on a Cybertruck than a Ducati. Thankfully, there are a couple other options out there. So I decided to go with the V4 Evo integrated taillight kit. So this combines the running lights, the brake lights, and the blinkers all into the same housing. And this feels like what the Ducati designers would have done if they were legally allowed to. When you buy the kit, there are a bunch of different options you can choose. I chose the smoke version of the light, the standard plastic cover, which covers a hole left by the stock fender kit, and the black license plate holder option. Now, when you open the box, the quality of all the parts looks pretty high, but there's just one problem. There are no instructions on how to install this on your bike. If you go to their website, there's a link to what they say are instructions, but it's really just instructions on how to remove the stock fender kit. Luckily, there are a couple videos online from people who've installed this kit that'll help walk you through the process. I'll put links to those below in case anyone's interested in this kit. So if you're somewhat mechanically inclined, you can pretty much figure this out. The first thing I did was remove the rear cowling then remove the storage cover and the seat. Then you remove the stock fender kit. Now don't throw this in the trash right away because you'll need to open it up to reuse the wiring harness that's inside that controls the blinkers. Then you remove the stock tail light. Then you can open up the old fender kit so you can pull and reuse the small wiring harness that's inside of it. So you have a main harness connector and then you'll have leads to your right and left blinkers. And then a third connector that would normally go to the stock license plate light but there'll be nothing for that one to hook up to since this kit deletes that light. Then you can install the new tail unit. You can hook up the main brake light wiring harness and then hook up the wiring harness for the blinkers. And because there are no instructions, let me save you a little time. The lead labeled DX goes to the blue wire. Destra. And the lead labeled SX goes to the yellow wire. Sinistra. Otherwise, your blinkers will be reversed. Now, if you have fat fingers, Attaching that blinker harness may be a little challenging because the opening you have to fish that harness through is very narrow. So that part of this assembly may be a little frustrating. Then you can install the cover of where the old fender kit went and your new license plate holder. You can have your license plate holder in two positions, one that has a license plate more towards the back of the motorcycle, but I preferred flipping it for that more tucked in look. Then you button everything back up and you're done. All in all, not that difficult of a process, especially considering you have no instructions. It probably took me an hour beginning to end to do everything. So I'd probably give this one a two on the difficulty scale. And in case you're curious, this mod shaves a little over a pound and a half off the bike. And I'd say the end result is something that looks a hundred times better than the stock unit it replaces. In the end, I am very happy with this mod. I have a few more mods planned before we send it out for the respray and then we'll be done. So stay tuned and hopefully I will catch you on the next one. <laughs>